Imagine standing on a desolate, icy landscape far from Earth. The air is still, the skittered deep black stars faintly glittering in the distance. Beneath your feet lies a frozen world not made of rock, but of solid ice. This is not a fantasy, it's Europa, one of Jupiter's most mysterious and compelling moons. Orbiting the largest planet in our solar system, Europa is more than just a ball of ice. It's a place of intrigue, complexity, and possibly life. Beneath that frigid crust may lie a vast ocean, perhaps harboring conditions not too different from the deep seas of our own world. But what has NASA really discovered on Europa? And why are scientists so captivated by this icy moon? Let's dive into one of the most stunning stories from our solar system, a story still unfolding and one that might redefine how we see life itself. Europa is one of Jupiter's four Galilean moons discovered by Galileo Galilei in 1610. It's roughly the size of our own moon, yet it's unlike anything we know. Its surface is made almost entirely of water ice, but its appearance is startling, crisscrossed by a chaotic network of dark streaks, lines and strange freckle-like formations. Early telescopic observations hinted at its uniqueness, but it wasn't until the Voyager missions in the 1970s that we got our first close-up look. Then in 1985, NASA's Galileo spacecraft arrived at Jupiter and transformed our understanding of Europa. Galileo orbited Jupiter for nearly eight years, making multiple close flybys of Europa. The high-resolution images it sent back were nothing short of jaw-dropping. Smooth planes, very few impact craters, and bizarre geological formations suggested that something was happening beneath the surface, something active. Europa is remarkably smooth. Unlike many moons and planets in the solar system, it lacks the battered appearance of ancient terrain. That's because Europa's surface is young, likely only tens of millions of years old. But what could be erasing craters and refreshing the surface so rapidly? The answer lies in the cracks, ridges, and freckles seen on its icy shell. Some areas look like fractured glass with dark lines zigzagging in chaotic directions. Others feature round dome-like shapes or clustered pits, the so-called lenticuli. Scientists believe these features are caused by warmer ice rising from beneath the surface, much like magma beneath Earth's crust. Some lenticuli appear as raised domes, while others are chaotic piles of ice, suggesting movement and turbulence below. Perhaps the most tantalizing discovery about Europa is this below its icy crust. Scientists believe there's a global ocean. This hidden sea may contain more than twice the amount of water found on Earth but it's not a calm, frozen interior. It may be a vast, salty ocean in direct contact with the moon's rocky mantle, heated by friction from Jupiter's intense gravitational pull. This process called tidal flexing generates internal heat as Europa is squeezed and stretched in its elliptical orbit around Jupiter. The result, a subsurface ocean kept liquid beneath a crust of ice up to 25 kilometers, 15 miles thick. Supporting this theory, Galileo detected disruptions in Jupiter's magnetic field when flying near Europa, suggesting the presence of a conductive layer like salty water beneath the surface. Hubble Space Telescope observations later added more evidence. In 2012 and 2016, researchers observed plumes of water vapor erupting from Europa's surface, possibly from that underground ocean. These findings changed everything. If water from below is being expelled into space, it could one day be sampled without drilling through kilometers of ice, a huge advantage for future missions. To grasp how Europa's ocean might support life, let's compare it to Earth's own deep oceans. In 1907, scientists discovered hydrothermal vents on the seafloor cracks in the Earth's crust where superheated water rich in minerals spews into the ocean. These environments are pitch black, incredibly hot, and under immense pressure. Yet they teem with life bacteria, tube worms, and other strange creatures thrive here using chemical energy instead of sunlight. If Europa's ocean floor has similar vents, life could potentially exist there too. 
We don't need sunlight for life, just energy, water, and the right chemistry. All three might be present beneath Europa's crust. And if life exists there, it could reveal entirely new biology organisms unlike anything on Earth. To explore these possibilities, NASA is preparing the Europa Clipper mission. Scheduled for launch in October 2024, the Clipper spacecraft will perform nearly 50 close flybys of Europa between 2030 and 2034. It won't land, but it will carry a powerful suite of instruments to study the Moon's surface interior, atmosphere, and potential for habitability. Clipper's instruments will include ice-penetrating radar to map the thickness of Europa's ice shell, spectrometers to identify surface composition, and look for organic molecules, a magnetometer to detect subsurface oceans, high-resolution cameras to capture stunning new images. What we learn from Clipper may determine whether a future lander or even a deep drilling mission is feasible. Europa has long fascinated storytellers. Arthur C. Clarke's novel 2010 Odyssey. To imagine life beneath Europa's ice with the famous message, all these worlds are yours except Europa. Attempt no landing there. Clarke's story was science fiction, but grounded in real science. The idea of a hidden ocean and alien life lurking beneath a frozen moon is both eerie and beautiful. And now we're at the edge of turning fiction into fact. Real-life exploration often mirrors the dreams of artists and writers. The discovery of microbes, or even more complex life on Europa, would be one of the most profound events in human history. While NASA is focused on Europa, the European Space Agency, ESA, is also on the case. Their JUICE mission, Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer launched in April 2023 and is expected to reach Jupiter by July 2031. JUICE will study three of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa. It will orbit Ganymede the first time a spacecraft has orbited a moon other than our own. Though Europa isn't JUICE's primary target, it will conduct two close flybys and collect valuable data. Together, JUICE and Clipper represent a coordinated international effort to understand the Jovian system. Why are we so eager to search for life on Europa? Because finding life, any life beyond Earth, would reshape biology, philosophy, and our understanding of the universe. It would prove we're not alone and that life can arise in places far different from our own. Europa's ocean is one of the best places to look. It's shielded from radiation, may contain hydrothermal energy sources, and has likely existed for billions of years. That's more than enough time for life to develop. And if life has evolved there, it might exist elsewhere too on Saturn's moon Enceladus, for instance, or beneath the surface of Mars. Europa is not just a moon, it's a question mark hanging in space daring us to answer. What lies beneath that frozen crust? Will we find alien microbes, exotic ecosystems? or something we've never even imagined. With missions like Europa, Clipper, and Juice, we're finally getting closer to an answer. In the next decade, humanity will reach deeper into the solar system than ever before, not just to explore, but to understand. Europa may turn out to be the key that unlocks the biggest mystery of all. Are we alone so stay curious? Because the future of discovery is closer than we think.